Hi, Simon Lewis here from Amanuska, and I'm just presenting a short tutorial on how to get the sleep multi-track files from our website and then to get them uploaded into GarageBand for the iPad. So I'm assuming you've got an iPad and it's connected to your computer. So if you haven't done that, do that now. And let's get started. So the first step is to go to amanuska.com, which we're at here. You'll see these photos scrolling past. And go across the menus along the top here to Education. And scroll down to Downloads, MVIS, which is Music Aviva in Schools. Click on that. And it'll take you to this page. Um, scroll down past the photo and you'll see Sleep Multitrack Files in MP3 format. For use in any multitrack music program can be downloaded from here. So click on here, and you should see this come up. So probably the easiest option, just download it, and it should appear in your Downloads folder or on your desktop or where, wherever you've got that set up. So I've already done that. You can see the files over here. It comes, downloads as a zip, and some computers it'll automatically open as a folder like mine has, but if you don't, you just need to use some kind of expander program to expand this zip file. Now open the folder and you should see this sleep multis. So these are the files that we want to get into your iPad and so you can use them in GarageBand. So the next step is to open iTunes and I've already got this page open but I'll show you how I got there. If I go back to if I hit done this is my main iTunes library. So up here it'll say iPad. It'll have your iPad name, whatever you've called it. Just click on that and this will open. And you'll see these tabs along the top here. So you want to be, there's info, apps. You want to be in apps. So click on apps, wait for it to load. And you'll see this. Now from here you need to scroll down just below all this stuff. So let's just scroll down to file sharing. Now here are all your apps that have file sharing capabilities. So we're going to choose GarageBand. Now you can see in here I've already got quite a few files in my GarageBand. You may, you may not. But from here it's so easy. All you do is go to the folder that you just downloaded. You can select all these you can do the full backing tracks if you want, but for now let's just do these multis. Drag them and you'll see it goes blue. And let go and they'll be in your iPad ready for use in GarageBand. So the next time you open GarageBand on your iPad, uh, you'll have access to those files. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to use these files in, an, in a session in GarageBand on the iPad. So come back and enjoy enjoy these multi tracks and have some fun with them